Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reedy from Reedy's Rides. I'm back here in my backyard because you know what? We got that one truck that people want to see more of and learn more about. This is it. This is the first time ever, 2022 GMC Sierra Denali, but this isn't your regular Denali. This is the all new Denali Ultimate trim. But before we get into this full-size truck with full-size luxury, let's talk about what's going on here. GMC, General Motors Truck Company. They've been doing the business for decades and they do it a little bit differently than the GM sister brand Chevrolet with the Silverado. Now with this new Ultimate trim, it's bringing all the things that you love about the Denali, but now we have more luxury, more technology, and more style, but you're still gonna get that great GMC versatility and usability. Now, for 2022, we have some new colors, new finishes, and just wait until we get to the interior. So what I wanna find out is, is this the home run that GMC has been wanting, the Grand Slam? Is it the king of all luxury full-size pickup trucks? And is it a luxury truck worth the price? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this GMC Sierra Ultimate, Denali Ultimate trim, and find out. Right off the bat, the color. I don't know how it looks on camera right now, but this is a new color called Titanium Rush, and I'm in love with it because the more sunlight you get, it actually changes the appearance of the color. At the front of the business, you're gonna get a whole new headlight housing. I love the way that they shrunk the actual housing itself. You got full LED lighting, LED turn signals and daytime running lamps. And look at how they designed the side of it as well. Very well thought through. Now, as you drop your way down, you are gonna get functional air curtains to help smooth out the airflow over the front of this massive beast. And we have the required LED fog lamps. And I'm digging the way that they put it in this rectangular housing with the gloss black to match well with the gloss black that's on that functional venting with our fog lamps. Now, as we come across this new grill, dark chrome finish specific to the ultimate trim. GMC badge as usual, but not the red, not that dark cherry red. We got this gunmetal metallic gray finish. Love the way you got a forward facing camera with a washer and then working our way back down to ground level. Guess what? We are going to have a zonk and this kind of goes for the whole truck. I'm not a big fan of the shiny chrome with the dark chrome. You got this sexy dark chrome, all of it should be dark chrome, not this shiny chrome on the front, and you'll see also on the sides and the back. So that's gonna be the one zonk on the exterior when it comes to the chrome finish. Now, you do get tow hooks, and this is gonna help you pull out those Ford trucks, the Rams, even Toyotas and Nissans out of the mud, out of the dirt. Of course, just like always. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you're gonna get that same broad hood that's been there since the redesign, which was back in 2019. I love the nice indentations that it has. Really gives it such character. Coming around the bend though, now things are gonna get real big. Check it out, 22 inch wheels specific to the Ultimate trim. This is an all new wheel design. I love the satin black with the hard machined aluminum edges. Now it may look like a hard, complicated design to clean and to keep clean, but you know what? It's a labor of love. And when these wheels are all cleaned up, it makes the titanium rush color just really come alive. But if you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of rubber is wrapped around these wheels? You're looking at 275 on the width, meaty 50 series sidewall. The other zonk that I have on the exterior is the flat black on the fender treatment. I wish that this was all color matched titanium gray, but other than that, these wheels really set it off as being sporty, stylish, and luxurious all at the same time. Now on the fender, of course, we're gonna get a fender badge, the ultimate trim with the 6.2 liter. You got your topography map, and this is a design that you're gonna see carried throughout the interior, because remember, Mount Denali has the highest peak in the United States, and that's why they call this trim Denali Ultimate, because we're talking about Mount Denali plus some. Now you do have some chrome finish, like I was talking about up front. You have some on the side with the mirror caps. You do get LED lighting, and of course we got 360 degree cameras. Prominent Denali badge, chrome finish. You got some chrome that runs along the bottom, 
And what is there? Check it out. Of course, you're going to have those automated dropping running boards. Same thing for the door handles. Not color match, chrome, and then the, the bright, shiny metal work around the window treatment. I wish that they would have had the dark chrome. That's the one big thing. Now, with any GMC truck, you're going to get those unique edges. And this is a styling cue with the way that they shape everything on the back of the cab, around the fenders. That's a styling cue that separates it from the Chevy Silverado. So if you ever wondered, are they basically the same truck? Yes and no. And the no really comes down to the shape, especially around the arches. But as we come around the back, of course, we're going to get full LED lighting. You got the nice wide opening for cowboy boots, clown shoes, even work boots with steel toes to get in there. And then, of course, we're going to have that multifunctional tailgate with the GMC badge, Denali, Sierra. Working our way down, you do get those nice chrome finishes around the exhaust. You know what I'm going to say. It would be nice if they were dark chrome. And yes, this is a truck, not just a luxury vehicle. This is a truck, so you can tow with it. But my favorite part, of course, is going to be the tailgate. You could drop it just like before. You can lift it back up. You could drop down the top part. Say you got some large sheets of uh, lumber, plywood. You could rest them up. You could even use this as a plate so that the two by fours don't slide out. Put it back together and then voila. Watch this. We dropped the whole thing, that nice soft release. Now we get into the step system. And this particular ultimate goes all the way with the kicker sound system. You got the speakers, you got your audio controls, and you got your hookup, USB-A and an aux jack. The only thing you got to be careful of is where you're stepping. Because if you step too close to the kicker speaker, you're going to make it live up to its name and you're going to kick that speaker grill cover in. Another nice thing to get in and out of the truck, which remember, this, this bed is carbon fiber composite. So no dents, no rust. You got this handle and then you're just going to climb on in. At the back of the bed, we have multi places for all sorts of tie downs, three on each side and then three on each side up front as well. There's the ones up front. And then of course you got a power source. Plug your power right there, whatever you got, whatever your tool is. But loving this carbon composite bed. Why don't we go ahead though? Why don't we open up the hood and see what's powering our Denali Ultimate. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have your hydraulic hood struts. When a lot of brands are switching to smaller displacement turbocharged or twin turbocharged engines, what do we got? We got that tried and true 6.2 liter V8 engine, naturally aspirated, still putting out 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. It is made it to a 10 speed automatic. This truck will do zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds. Top speed, 115 miles an hour. It could tow up to 13,200 pounds. Payload capacity, 2,240 pounds. MPGs, not really the greatest, but you're looking at between 15 to 16 in the city, 20 on the highway. And remember, you do have the availability, even on the Denali Ultimate trim, of the Duramax turbo diesel engine. But when you're stacking this up to the competition, you're going to get a nice large power band, torque power band, with this 6.2 liter. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this V8 up and hear its rumble. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Sierra Denali Ultimate trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, so far the outside of this thing is pretty ultimate. I can't wait for you to show me the interior. But of course, it always comes down to price. Now, I've looked at other high-end trims from the other brands. I'm curious, what does this Ultimate cost? So you're basically looking around an MSRP of $81,000. $790, give or take a few options. 
but let's see what you get for the money when you decide to check that ultimate box off on the spec sheet to the door panels. Right away, you're gonna get real open pour wood at the top. All of the surfaces are leather, leather trim surfaces, both dark leather and that classy brown leather interior. I'm loving the stitching. And then you'll see an ultimate badge. It's one of about six on the interior that tell you the actual GPS coordinates of where Mount Denali is. That's pretty cool. And then you'll notice on the brown leather with the nice contrast stitching and piping, the topography map design brings it to a whole new level. You got a door pocket that's large enough for a foot long Jimmy John's, Jimmy John's sub. Get that in there with extra pickles, peppers, mustard. And then you got two, not one, but two openings for a couple bottles of Mountain Dew. Since you're going to go up Mount Denali, you better have your Mountain Dew. And we have the Bose sound system. Great looking speaker cover. It's a 12 speaker system. Now going from the door panel to the dash, the leather continues. And I want to thank all the cows that sacrificed their lives for this leather the stitching, even the leather on the handles to pull yourself in and your passengers in as they get in and out. You got the open pour wood. Get yourself some pine saw. You could clean this up. Open up the door. That's where you're going to put your mountain climbing gloves in there. And then you'll keep your driving gloves in the glove box. But I just love the open pour wood and all of the storage spaces. On the side, you got stitching. You got enough room here, not for a banana, I would probably say a couple uh, sticks of uh, celery. Maybe do like ants on a log. Get some peanut butter in there. Get yourself some raisins. They call it ants on a log. It's not real ants. I guess you could put real ants, but that's up to you. And you could put those in there. And then here's where it really gets just totally amazing. You have the all new 13.4 inch infotainment system. This is what it should have came with the Sierra. Should have came with back in the redesign in 2019. So you got your Google Maps, you got Google Assistant. I love the way, you see how it's got that green lightning bolt there? My cell phone is charging right now. Let me show you some of the other things. What's great is, is you got this split screen that you could actually scroll through your different information on one side. It's got a total of 14 different camera views, 14. Out the front, out the back, out the top, look at this. You even have to go into your next one to see into the bed to see if anybody's sleeping back there. You could easily get to any angle. One of the things that makes this the ultimate is not the Google Maps. Look at this. I have on my seat, side of my seat, the controls for your massage. So as you scroll down, watch, I'm gonna scroll into it. You got roll, you got need, you could turn it on, different settings, and get your massage going. This really makes it the ultimate trim just off of that. And then it's really easy to get right back to your maps. I'm going to throw it into reverse. Super clear on the resolution. I mean, look, I can read the license plate. Z12WUT. That's what it says on that license plate. But you got your trajectory that actually moves with the steering. And the resolution is just out of control. Now, working your way down, the great news is you got full controls. You can get into your AC and the infotainment system, but we got all our controls. You got ventilated seats, heated seats, and you could do just the back portion heated or the full seat, your heated steering wheel. We got our dual climate control, and I like the way it's got the digital readouts on the actual knobs. The largest start stop button in the auto industry, and it's a nice aluminum finish. That's all the things I like the aluminum finish up top. You got this other trim, looks classy. And I like the way it's integrated. When they have the foot long Twinkies, you could actually put two of those special edition. They only sell them twice a year, once on April Fool's Day and then once on St. Patty's Day. But you got your foot long Twinkie uh, area here. You could put, I would say probably four, stack them up. If, if you could only get them twice a year, get twice the amount. USB A, USB C. Two cup holders. This is going to control that 10 speed automatic transmission. Of course, we got our GMC key fob. It would have been nice if it said ultimate on there, just because you got the ultimate one, remote start. You could drop the tailgate, all remote. 
You got your trailer release. Look at my phone. It's nestled like a little bird, little baby bird in the nest getting its charge on. That soft leather, perforated. Look, more topography. And you could put your phone here. And then it doesn't slide around as you are going about your business. Lift it up. Look at this. This is a party tray. You got your uh, honey roasted nuts here. I would probably put maybe some uh, Fritos, some nice Fritos, and then you could put your regular peanuts. So honey roasted peanuts, regular peanuts, and then you could easily put a full bag of Doritos in there, two bags, USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source in there. So they got you connected, and then the seats. More leather, the piping, there's your ultimate badge, the contrast stitching. Look at the way they did the stitching. It's like a, it's like a Babe Ruth. It's like a shoeless Joe Jackson baseball glove. Absolutely love the two-tone style. Full electric assist with the massage for the passenger and the driver. The one thing. The one thing that really boils my zonks in here. Standard size sunroof. WTF, that needs to be a panoramic sunroof, but the great news is you do got that Al Alcantara soft headliner and, of course, the digital rearview mirror that GM brought into the auto industry. But like I said, where is my panoramic sunroof? It ain't in this truck, but why don't you come over here? I want to show you behind 12.3 inches of visual pleasure in this Denali Ultimate. All right, guys, come on into the business end. Two memory seat settings right now. I still got that massage going on. There's another of the multi ultimate badges in here with the GPS coordinates. Get your mountain climbing gear, go to Mount Denali. You're gonna get those high-end floor mats. Those are worth an extra five horsepower each. Very classy. You got your seat controls. That's to toggle through all the lumbar and massage controls right on the side of the seat. I'm six feet tall, just like any other GMC Sierra. You got plenty of room in here. Love the steering wheel, high-end leather. If you're wondering, what is this? This has GM's Super Cruise. So that's over 200,000 roads that are mapped out. I do love this nice trim, matches what's on the dash. The Denali badge would have been nice if it said ultimate and maybe some stitching on the horn. I don't like it when they go too, too bland on the horn, especially on a high-end luxury model. You do have plastic paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that 10 speed. And then down below here, you got your mode selector knob, plus you got all your controls for your 4x4 system. But speaking of modes, check out that 12.3, I promised you 12.3 inches, you're getting it. 12.3 inches of digital display. You could actually scroll through a cornucopia of information in the center, and then watch the tachometer on the right. When I go through the different modes, it actually changes. So you got your different modes, sport, off-road, and normal. That's all we need. And you got a 15-inch head-up display that's absolutely massive in this thing. But speaking of massive, I want to show you something else. Let's get into the back seat. I want to show you the massive amount of room in this Denali Ultimate. All right, guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you, this is a space that if you ever get kicked out of the house, you can set up shop in here. This is very, very luxurious, very comfortable. So the backs of the seats, you got the leather, you got the topography map, even on the pockets, the stitching. Open those up, what can we put? Let's put a couple bags, family size Twizzlers in there because you're gonna need some Twizzlers to get you up to the top of Mount Denali. We got a little bit of a command center, but it's a little bit of a zonk letdown. I got two cup holders, which are great. You got three stages of heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That would have been a nice extra ultimate touch, but you do have a USB-C, USB-A, and these two small AC vents. Over here, I got plenty of room. I want, you know what I want right now? I want one of those one pound bag of peanut M&Ms. You could actually put two in this pocket. I'd put a whole bag away myself. More of that Alcantara, more leather on the oh crap handle. But the problem is, they gave us space. You could have gave us another sunroof back here. Just have a split sunroof. Doesn't have to be panoramic. That would have been an ultimate touch. The seats though, they are pretty ultimate. You do have an armrest, nice and soft with the two cup holders, power sliding rear glass, of course. And do you need storage? Because they got you covered both underneath and wait for it. 
wait for it, follow the finger, boop, secret compartments. That's a great place to hide the Christmas gifts, the holiday gifts, so that nobody finds them before Santa, Santa delivers them. And if there's any young kids watching, yes, Santa is real. But why don't we go ahead, you know what is real? We got a 6.2 liter V8. We got the Denali Ultimate. Let's go for an on-throttle drive in this full-size luxury truck. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Sierra Denali Ultimate trim. I mean, right away, uh, you feel like king of the castle in this thing. So many fine finishes everywhere. So much technology. This is like the infotainment system that we should have had a couple years ago. But you know what? Better late than never because we got Google Maps. It's so easy to navigate through, get up your climate controls, whatever it is that you need, you're able to do on this screen so nicely. And I love the way it's integrated. You compare this to a Ford F-150 and that big 15 inch screen even though it's a larger screen, the vertical setup just does not fit it whatsoever. Having every button well within reach and well laid out as well. I mean, you could go through the infotainment system, but it's nice to have some real buttons here. The digital rear view mirror is amazing. And then of course you have the different drive modes. Right where now we're in normal, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the mode over to sport. So you can see we're still in two wheel drive. The checkered flag comes on. And just really this truck checks off so many boxes when you're driving down the road. I mean, the suspension travel, the seats, the materials, the storage, the head up display. It goes on and on and on and on. And then, of course, you got that 6.2 liter V8 mated to the 10 speed automatic transmission and Super Cruise. So they got you covered there as well. If you haven't driven a full size truck ever, it's really not that bad. It's not that scary. A lot of people uh, tend to get freaked out and think that it's going to be hard to navigate with such a big truck. It really plays out well because of the great steering. It's got a nice turning radius, the way the transmission shifts, and then all the technology, especially when you're utilizing your cameras. I mean, sitting here, we could go out the front. You could look at it from the top. Every which way imaginable, even out the back. I mean, there's the postal carrier and you can look in the bed of that carbon composite truck, but this really just showcases what trucks are capable of today. I mean, it's that nuts. But what I wanna do is I wanna get a little space here and go on throttle. Are you ready? On throttle, here we go. Into this right-hand bend, nice. Good grip, and you know what? Those 22 inch wheels, that's another thing is like, you would think with 22 inch wheels, it's gonna ride really stiff. It does not. And when you're in that sport mode, it holds the gear. You see how we're at around 3,500 RPM? It holds the gear so you can immediately pounce back on throttle again. That's how nice this works. You got that great rumble of that naturally aspirated V8. And then you got the smooth shifting 10 speed. Plenty of gear ratios to help with the driving capabilities. You got the paddles on the back of the steering wheel. And then of course we got things like massage seats. I mean, what else more could you need in a truck? Panoramic sunroof is the one thing I would really like to see added, like pronto. That's the big zonk in here. Hey guys, pulling away from this light. I love the way the head-up display not only gives you the regular info, but it also lets you know about the car in front of you, all the safety features that this truck has. And then 
all the information that you have on that new digital display. I mean, it all adds up to really the ultimate Denali, like literally the ultimate Denali. But let's go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Nice shifts. On the brakes. See, this is where I'm telling you, this big truck, very easy to drive, very easy to control. And then of course you could do your towing, you could do everything else, you can put it back into normal mode, drops the revs down and then you're just cruising. So really nice the way it is able to fit whatever you're trying to do for that particular moment in your truck. And then we got the Google Assistant. Hey Google. All right guys, we're gonna get this Denali Ultimate out onto the highway and really see how it drives because a lot of people are gonna be taking those highway trips, whether to work or on vacation, but here we go, on throttle. This thing's got plenty of power. I know some people are saying, how come they don't get more horsepower out of the 6.2 liter? It's got plenty of power, it's got plenty of torque. And then when you get onto the highway, it just drives so smooth. It's crazy where we've come with technology and especially trucks. When it comes to the overall driving, the finishes, and now the luxury and the utility still there. But going down the road here, you're gonna feel that better sound deadening, the thicker windshield, the, the, sa the side glass, it's all been acoustically tuned for this perfect environment. And you, you feel it, you're in it. And then you just feel comfy. Pick up the kids from school, take out the spouse to dinner, Whatever it is you got, this Denali Ultimate could definitely do it. But I'm hoping that this was a nice, good overall review of the Denali Ultimate trim for you. We're going to get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I will see you in the Ultimate millisecond. All right, guys. It's been another great day with this GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate trim. Of course, we got to thank everybody over at GMC for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has GMC done enough to put that ultimate name on this truck? Does it bring the best of luxury, technology, and of course, those things that trucks do, towing, payload, and everything else? Let me know in the comment section if you think it's the king of luxury trucks. But until we meet again, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile to come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to the ultimate videographer in the whole universe. Lori, work on that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.